What is going on, everybody? Hey. It is Pixel Partners here, and welcome back to Phoenix yes. Wright Ace Attorney. Yes. We are in the beginning stages of episode four, we are. where we're having to hopefully defend Miles once he gets that stick out of his ass and decides <gasps> to let us defend him. The one on the beach. No. Oh Jesus, no! <laughs> no, I mean, like, I was looking at that, and I'm like, it kind of looks like a snowman hand. And you know how it's, it's Christmas? What if? All the snowmen melted, formed the lake, and that's the only thing that's left of it. Oh, no. It's the one stick it's arm. It's all that washed up. <laughs> all right, well, I think I was going to investigate all this stuff, so. Investing gout. <laughs> this camera's rigged to respond to noise. It only responds to loud noises, like a party popper. <laughs> okay, and that's all over here. Which we know already. Yep, can't investigate the lake at all, because it's <laughs> entirely <laughs> uneventful. All right, picnic ground. There's food and some magazines on the sheet. Food! It takes a pretty tough skin to camp in this cold. For real. It says no camping. Look at the yeah. sign. Can you look at the I, sign? I won't. Okay, I'll look at the sign now. You're like, oh. The sign says no camping. Find a place to pick to pitch your tent. Yeah. Wait, what if the sign said no setting tents on fire? Uh, I don't <laughs> think they have signs like that. <laughs> oh. God, I love her. <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing. She's she's such a uh, non sequitur. That's the word. Yeah. Grill. Look at me using big words. <laughs> big, big words. Hey, Nick. What? Don't tell me you're hungry again. No, no. I was just wondering, why are camping pots and pans made of aluminum? Uh, they didn't talk about that in any law books. <laughs> so there's no law saying they have to be made out of aluminum then. I'm not having this conversation. <laughs> He's so sad. <laughs> For trees. <laughs> the trees go quite grow grow quite thick. <laughs> they here. grow great further <laughs> back. The trees fade into the shadow where the sunlight can't reach. There them. you go, hooked on phonics. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> this SUV has seen better days. This sub. <laughs> it's dented all over. You actually so, laughed at that. <laughs> <laughs> can't believe anyone would drive their car down here. You're right. That tree is broken. Oh, don't want to talk about that though. <laughs> Uh, They're all dead. Okay, nothing else. The, to... the fire, the firewood on the thing. Yeah. It looks like a bunch of hot dogs. You're right. It's a bunch of slim jims, a bunch of burnt bacon. Those are those are like those giant beef jerky sticks. Yeah. All right, nothing else to talk about. Don't have anything to present. So beef jerky sandwiches. Now we're gonna go back here, and now we're going to go to the boat rental shop. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking birds. <laughs> December twenty fifth, boat rental shop. Nick, what is this place? A boat rental shop. Closed for Christmas, it seems. I guess a murder taking place <laughs> on one of the boats won't be good for business yeah. either. Boats. I've never ridden on a boat. Really? Well, how about we go on a moment when the trial is finished? Hey, good idea. You bet. Can you be your sister instead first, though? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. All right. Mm, like, well, he actually cared enough to say, hey, let's take you on a boat then. Yeah. There's more He's forest off that dick. way. <laughs> not a total. <laughs> Only like 70%. <laughs> yeah. I thought I'd find any helpful clues in there. Yeah. Okay. How about the shop? Slender Man will A help small me. boat rental shop. God damn it. Doesn't look like anyone is around. They're probably closed Except because birds. it's Christmas and their <laughs> birds are driving them goddamn insane. The birds drove them away. <laughs> boats. Yes. There are some boats floating at the dock. Was one of these boats used in the murder, I wonder? Nick? Huh? I changed my mind. I don't really want to go for a boat ride. No, oh, <laughs> it's all part of my ruse. Yeah. A boat of death? Yes, come with me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> all right, uh, nothing. Uh, I haven't been on a boat in a long nothing, time. Nothing here. Okay. When's the last so, time uh, you were on a boat? I have no idea. <laughs> so it's been a long time. Uh, Yeah. Uh, let me see. Was there anything I could present to her? I don't think so, but... No, oh, I got yeah. us the camera, so it's no, music. it's all on that. So this is sorry, my, I'm going away aww. from her. Sorry, going back to complete like, utter my, silence. I was like, this is my. <laughs> it's not complete and utter silence. There's birds. <laughs> <laughs> you wish right. it was complete and utter silence. <laughs> yeah. All right. Criminal affairs department. Who oh boy? Let's go check out Gumshoe. The heck is that thing? Uh, it's a little doll for it looks some like kind of thing. Pikachu fused with Jevil. I was about to say, look at something that came straight out of Delta Rune. It looks like Pikachu fused with Jevil. Dots. Looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here. Oh shit. A uh, chief, uh. Something wrong, miss? <laughs> huh? 
turn yourself in? Okay, what did you do? Shoplifting? Larceny? Public indecency? Jesus. N no, none of those things. We're looking for Detective Gumshoe. Is he around? Gumshoe? Oh, yeah. Why He's in a meeting right now. I don't think he'll be out any time soon. Okay, we'll come back. You do that. Oh, and go stay home and stay out of trouble. No more shoplifting. You got that? Uh, well, uh, do I look like a criminal or something? Well, you were in a court case about a week ago or so, so I don't know. Poor it's Maya. It's been more than a week. But <laughs> Poor <laughs> thing. It's been months. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's examine uh, this guy. What you got, dude? That must be one of the detectives. He's mumbling something to himself. What? <laughs> 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 Your mama could see you know she'd be crying. A break and spit it out, you lowlife scumbag. Uh, you must be doing image training for interrogations. Oh, he's trying to he's trying to learn how to be a bad cop. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, these are the detectives' desks. There are computers and files on each one. I love him saying that just in that complete normal voice yeah. too, and that's how he'll be when he goes to interrogate someone. For real. <laughs> Your mama, no. <laughs> funny they're a lot tidier than i'd expect i guess detectives don't spend a lot of time at their desks except that guy apparently you what do you got this must be the chief of the detectives here mm -hmm. he's glued to his computer screen what gord lake gordy sighted i don't believe it <laughs> shouldn't you be reading something more important <laughs> damn sign of cop lady a poster of a female police officer Wait, no. That's the latest babes in uniform calendar. My bad. <laughs> God damn it. This now thing. That. What is this? Hey, it's that police department's mascot. That's the blue badger. It was my idea. I made it. It's my mascot. Uh, I see. How nice. How nice. <laughs> I'll get him assigned mascot to the criminal affairs department if it's the last thing I do. Um, good, good luck. Gampate. <laughs> Open window. No, nothing. <laughs> Desks. And more. Okay, Gumshoe that's doesn't it. Want. That's it until Gumshoe comes back. So yeah. I guess we'll go to the detention center? Yeah. Don't talk to you again? Talk. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Did, Did you, you do, do it? it? <laughs> <laughs> Edgeworth. It's really hard for me to ask. He has to know, though. But you didn't do it, right? Right? <sighs> Think what you will. I have only one request. Huh? Stay out of this case. Why? But Dick is trying to help you. I know. I know that. But I don't want your help, okay? Uh, why not? Uh, look, just go away and leave me alone. Nick... Mr. Edgeworth did it, didn't he? Maya. Let's go investigate elsewhere. But Nick. Okay, nothing here either. Ooh, except drama. Apparently. <laughs> which, I wonder if that was which, like a... Which, which I love. I wonder if that popped up last time before we... Like after the second... I don't know. I guess we'll go back to our offices. I love drama. I love it. Talk, um, present. Present. The camera. What do you think about the camera? Who is that with the camera? Lada something? Let's go talk to her about that photograph. I've talked to her about ev- ah! Okay, I guess I'll go back to Lada Heart. She's the only thing I've got left yeah. in this fucking shitstorm. She's got a lot of heart. <laughs> got a lot of something. <laughs> got a lot of fucking birds. <laughs> a lot of birds. All right, you. Yeah, see, we- Fuck. Present the camera. We took your camera. Lada? <laughs> Yeah. So your camera, it triggers on loud explosion noises. Ah, uh, yep. Actually, the victim in the case we're researching, he was shot with a pistol. A pistol. Right. Now, wouldn't the gunshot make a similar noise to a party popper? I guess it would. Your camera. Didn't he get a pic? Didn't he get a picture of the murder? Did it? Hmm. Hey, y'all are pretty bright. Huh? I see what you're saying. Tell you what, I'll have a look-see at my film. It would have been a photo taken late last night. I checked them once. Don't remember if there was anything on them, though. 
But what if I got something? I could be a witness to a genuine murder. Yeehaw! I'll go check that film. Y'all come back now, you hear? Uh, okay. <laughs> Fucking nailed that voice. <laughs> oh, God. She went inside her SUV. It's called a sub, I think. I guess we should come back later. I... <laughs> well, she has to have time to... Check the film. Yes, but I don't know what to do. Now is Gumshoe back at Maybe. his office? Do we just have to ask her about her goddamn camera? Oh, God. Apparently he is now. <laughs> Jesus. It requires so many nitpicking minuscule things. Well, yeah. It's called investigating a crime. Yeah. Dots. I guess Detective Gumshoe is still in that meeting. Hey! <laughs> Thanks for coming down, pal. Detective Gumshoe! We just finished the meeting. For better or for worse. Mm. I get the feeling we're in for some bad news. Mm. Alright, dog. Let's talk. The victim. Uh. Do you know anything about the victim yet? No, no. Still can't ID him. Jesus. Has Mr. Edgeworth said anything? Not a word. Uh. What was the meeting about? So, how did the meeting go? I can't tell you, pal. You're a lawyer. It's true. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't know what to believe anymore. Oh no. Sure, Mr. Edgeworth's human like you or me. Still, I get the feeling that if he'd done something wrong, he wouldn't go hiding it. That's just the kind of guy he is. Why can't anyone else see that? So they think that Mr. Edgeworth did it? Well, the trial's starting tomorrow as scheduled. I see. Tomorrow already? Uh, Jesus. Oh, uh, um, hey, in the end, you did tell us about the meeting. Huh? Don't go <laughs> telling anyone else, pal. Yes, sir. Then do me a favor. Stand by Mr. Edgeworth. We're trying. He needs help, and you're the ones who to help him. I'm sure he's got some reason why he won't talk to us. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. Trusting Edgeworth. Can we trust him? <laughs> Can he be trusted? Detective Gumshoe? How come you trust Mr. Edgeworth so much? Well, I think that was obvious. We got a strong working relationship, us two. We trust each other, and that's how it works. I bet they have a secret handshake. A working relationship? See, Mr. Edgeworth always gets his defendants declared guilty. Every time. Except when you stepped up, pal. Yeah. <laughs> yes, methods might be a little extreme at times. But... There's a reason. He trusts our investigation, see? He trusts us to get the right man. That's why I work extra hard, pal. Makes sense. We gotta earn that trust he places in us. I see. Mr. Edgeworth is a man you can trust. And you have my word on that. We can trust him. <laughs> the autopsy report. Anything? I was wondering, did you ever get that autopsy report? Oh, that? Yeah, I made a copy for you. Okay, even though it was supposed to not be so easy to get, but now yeah. you're just giving it to us. Sometime on the 20... Okay. Sorry, we'll check it out in a second. Thank you. Nick? Huh? Can you show me that photo of the victim? Hmm. That face. Someone you know? I... I don't know. I just have this feeling that I met him somewhere a long time ago. In a galaxy far, far away? Hmm. <gasps> Interesting. Ugh. Anyways, time of death sometime on the 24th or 25th. Cause one bullet shot to the heart. 20, hey, yo, 20, 24th or 25th. Yeah. I guess that makes sense since it's like, you know, cold water. It can preserve. Yeah. Because I, I would think it would be cold. Huh. All right. Uh, I'm getting a headache behind my left eye. I don't know, is it because of the voice? No, I don't know. Or just a random headache? Oh, I know. I'm sorry you're getting a headache. Anyways, I'm sorry. I'm drawing <laughs> a blank right now. Oh, okay. It's because I thought the camera might do something for me. Whoever him, but... shot the dude certainly didn't draw a blank. <laughs> <laughs> you right. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to move back to Gord Lake. Gord Lake. Gord Lake. see if she's got anything ready with that picture, by golly. <laughs> oh, looks like we got something going on here. And she's gone. <laughs> Gord Lake, what? She's run. She's vanished. Oh, oh hi. Hey, y'all. Lotta. 
Wait up a sec. We got Bingo. Bingo? Was his name out? <laughs> My automatic camera took two pictures last night. Hey! This is them. Take a look. It's in a book. Reading rainbow. <laughs> well, that's that's a picture. Right? God damn it. Wait. There's more. See? See? He's shooting him with that pistol. It it looks like that, yes. But you can't re oh <clears throat> but you can't really tell who that is shooting. Yeah, well, there was enough fog out there last night to strangle a bullfrog. But you know. Seeing these photos reminded me of something. What? I saw the murder happen. I'm a witness. Okay, that came out of what? nowhere. <laughs> came out of nowhere. Like a murder. <laughs> oh, and I saw it all. <laughs> yeah. Are you serious? Of course. How do you forget? Never mind. <laughs> Y'all reckon I should tell the cops? I reckon so. I reckon no. I don't uh, know. <laughs> um... um <laughs> you know, I'll just say I reckon so. Because even though it's probably one of those where I say I reckon no and she's going to do it anyways. I'm just really hoping that she isn't lying just so she could be ooh, a witness in a murder case. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I know. But we're going to have to deal with it when that comes along as the time <sighs> runs. So yeah. I reckon so. I reckon so. What's that? Now don't y'all go trying to mock my accent. I'm a sensitive lady. Hey, so I'm off to talk to the cops. Y'all can have this photo. Later. Peace, dog. But, but wait, Lotta. Mm. What? Oh, hey, can y'all see I'm kind of busy? T tell us what you saw, too, please. Nice try, honey, but I wasn't born yesterday. I'm a witness, and that means I'm on the side of justice, and that means the cops. I'd sooner eat the south side of a northbound skunk than tell you. Um. L Lotta. Don't let it get to your skivvies in a bunch. Friends today, enemies tomorrow. Or was that the other way around? No matter. I'm gone. Hey, maybe they'll let me do some testifying. Hot darn. <laughs> oh, God. She left. Uh, well, that's one more witness. What do we do now, Nick? Well, if she saw something, there's not much we can do about it. Question is, what exactly did she see? For real. I guess I'll find out in the trial tomorrow. Mm -hmm. so we got the photo. We do not have much evidence, but we I kind of like that. It makes the trial easy when it comes along. So. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess... Uh, Compared to like 50 oh. things like last time. <clears throat> yeah. With broken plates and stuff. Guess we're back here. Okay. Well, it wasn't a broken plate. Something's going on here. Looks like the police have given up their interviewing. Uh. Uh. Hey! Oh! <laughs> It's Santa Claus. Okay. <laughs> Nick, Nick, I think Santa's mad at you. Long time no see, Nick. Nick, you know Santa? Wow, Nick and Saint Nick. Hey, I see the connection. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, it's me. <laughs> yeah, there. <laughs> but Larry. What are you doing here? Is he an obvious some work on my day job? Remember, it was your <laughs> Joey Wheeler voice. <laughs> well, no, I went, I went, I went crazy on this. No. It was, it okay. was, there was some times where I would enjoy, but I still see him where I do. That's Want right. One? That's right. Got to get money for dates, you know. My girl Keyonce deserves <laughs> the best. <laughs> Who? Ke Keyonce? Not another model, <gasps> I hope. It's, is this supposed to be like Beyonce? <laughs> I guess. Oh, Keyonce's a fine, fine woman, Nick. It was her idea that I wear this costume. She was all, you go, girlfriend, you know. <laughs> she bought this costume for me. <laughs> that, that's, that's great, Larry. That's, that's real great. Wow, a Santa costume. She must be really nice. Whoa, cute. Nick, who's she? She's not your, not my, what? No, no, she's not. She's a minor. <laughs> I'm his partner, Maya Faye. I'm, uh, the little sister. Sister? Eh, eh. Wow, Nick, must be tough. Working nine to five, having to take care of his <laughs> little sister. D no, no, I'm not Nick's sister. I'm my older sister's little sister. Huh. 
Sounds great. Well, he... Don't worry, Maya. He's not listening. <laughs> Nick, buddy. Oh, it's been so long. Larry. Mr. Harry Butts, unfortunately, as people like to call you. Yeah. What happened, dog? Hey, Larry. There was a murder here last night. And since you work here, have you heard anything? Nick, you're wasting your time. Last night was Christmas Eve. He was with Keonse, obviously. He wouldn't have been standing out here in the cold. Oh! Huh? I think what you just said caught him off guard, Maya. Y you know, it's just... Keonse's not in town right now. She... She's in Hawaii on a photo shoot. A model. I knew it. <laughs> well, anyway. There was a murder on the lake. The trial's tomorrow. Uh, Ugh! Me! <laughs> the defendant is Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. Um, Nick? Why would Larry know Edgeworth? Whoa, Nick! You don't mean that, Miles Edgeworth. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's a murder suspect. W whoa! Murder? Huh? You know Mr. Edgeworth, Larry? Yeah, of course. Oh, boy, do I ever. He fucked me real good. <laughs> And you was in the same class as us in grade school. What? <laughs> oh, it was real rough, man. He raw dogged it. It was oh so my bad. God, stop. <laughs> On that note, <laughs> um, um, tell me about the dog. <laughs> huh? Oh, you mean samurai dogs? Or you mean Edgeworth's dogs? Stop. You know what I mean? <laughs> Why are they samurai dogs? I. I mean, they kind of look gourd-shaped. They're like my dick. Oh, well, Stop. originally they were gourd dogs. Stop. You know, like guard dogs. Ouch. The samurai thing was Keonse's idea. Oh, she's my woman, you know. She was all, change the name and you go, girlfriend. <laughs> she made me that banner. Man, the kids can't get enough of those samurai dogs. Um, Something about that just seems... Wrong. Oh, and guess what? We're getting a ton of customers here at the lake with all the big news. The big news? Yeah, Gordy. Get Gordy? Gordy. Gotta, gotta get Gordy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Gordy. Oh, no. <laughs> um, what's Gordy? It's my little Morty. <laughs> huh? You mean you don't know? It's here in this very lake. A giant, mysterious now monster. Now I recognize the Gordy. voice that you're giving him. It sounds kind of like your Lancer voice. You're right. A That's little bit, where yeah. I've heard it. A monster? Yeah. Check it out. This is an article from yesterday's newspaper. There's a photo. Wow. It's r really real. Ooh. Giant life form appears in Gord Lake. <laughs> Nick, a monster. A real monster. Um, yeah. It's probably just a log or something, right? Hey, there's a quote here from the person who took the photo. Ah, uh, what's this? I set the camera to automatic, and when we got into the frame, I heard a loud bang, like an explosion, followed by the sound of something slipping into the water. Um... I wish I could have seen it. Why would there be a sound like an explosion? A gun! Larry, can I borrow this article from you? Sure, no problem. That'll be one million dollars. Uh, what, what, what million? Grow up, Larry. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Now let's talk about Edgy Boy. He been edging you tonight? <sighs> so, Mr. Edgeworth was your classmate, Larry? Yeah, Nick, him, and I used to hang out all the time. You never would have guessed. Wow, I never knew. Don't get me wrong. He's always been kind of a stick in the mud. He's staying all the time trying to be like father. Oh, one of those, like Chad. <laughs> like, uh, his, like his father? Yeah, I just pop was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Wow. Wait, you said defense lawyer? Yeah. But he's a prosecutor. Yeah, wait a second. But Mr. Edgeworth is a prosecuting attorney. We're the defense lawyer. <laughs> what? 
And he's got proboscis on his knee? Uh, no, he's a prosecuting attorney. That's like the total opposite of a defense lawyer. Uh, huh. Go figure. He always used to talk about defending the weak who were unable to defend That's themselves. That's what Phoenix says. Man, he used to go on and on about duty and to society and all that. What a bore. I wonder what changed his mind, though. Hmm. Do you know Nick? <sighs> Nick? I know something that I can't Ooh, say, apparently. Yeah. Hey, you. Um, it's like we are Phoenix, and yet we know nothing, John Snow. Hey, you, look at this picture of him killing someone. Uh, Who was this? You know, my eyes have been getting pretty bad lately, Nick. Uh, <laughs> Actually, the photo's blurry, Larry. <laughs> it was taken last night. Last night? Okay, I guess that's all we really got. Okay. You, you're done with me. Okay, I guess we're going to go... Uh, <laughs> Back to Anything at the no. boat shop? No. That's, yeah, I she, was checking to see if someone popped up there for some yeah, reason. She went to go to cops. I was thinking of to going. Cops, yeah, so I think it was going just down to check, the. Check just in to, case. Fuck, I'm going in the wrong direction. Why'd I have to go to 17 different places to go back? Because where I want that's to. Phoenix right. You're right. I don't know examine. I want to move. All right. Those birds. Uh, Criminal Affairs Department. Yep, she's here somewhere. Wait, she? Lotta. Oh, that's right. Huh. Not a gumshoe in sight. If you're looking for Detective Gumshoe, he's in the questioning room. Why does everyone here have an accent? <laughs> Apparently, an important witness turned up. My name is Doug Dimmadome. Oh, Dim oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be in there a while. Oh my God. Have you seen my son? <laughs> a lot of heart. It has to be. Uh oh. Ooh, okay. This music changed. That's uh, that's all we got. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Guess we'll go ahead and uh, uh, go to the detention center. Nope. I guess we'll go back home. Uh, but, uh, but. Hmm. What is it? Oh. Nothing. Just something's been bothering me. Ugh. Could you show me that autopsy report once more? Sure. Mm. Here you go. Just don't eat it. I know you're hungry. Don't eat it. Hey, I, I remember now. This guy. He's a lawyer that was at the office Mia worked at. I met him once when I went there to hang out with Sis. That office? Wait. All this intense music's going on. You mean on Grossberg's now. office? Right, that guy. That was the last name I expected to come up. Maybe I should go talk to him for old time's sake. Man, last time this music played, things were freaking intense. Yeah. Did he get his picture back? Nope. Oh, God. <laughs> Poor fucker. Even after all that. Well, he is in jail, so he can't exactly give something back. Well, I mean, you think the police would go yeah. through and take back everything, and eventually you get it back. Oh, my God. <laughs> ah, the old familiar clearing of the throat. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Something, are you not? <laughs> I was your understudy. Yes. Phoenix Wright. Oh, I knew your mirrors. Something too, are you not? Her little sister, yes. <laughs> You've grown, oh, little Missy. You've come like a lot like a sister, you know. Just with less tits and all. Excuse me? I'm sorry, I'm, uh, boobs. I'll, I'll be more um, mild. It takes me back. Uh, oh, I used to stare at those things all the time. Uh, the days of youth. A descent of lemon fresh. <laughs> lemon fresh. <laughs> it's fresh lemon. <laughs> Um, Mr. Grossberg, I, sir. I, I love think, this detergent. I think you're a little too distracted by thinking back to some pretty perverted times, sir. Let Mr. Grossberg, <laughs> sir. <laughs> yes, I beg your pardon. I'm of course you did come here to discuss something. Lemon fresh. What is that? Something the matter, boy? Mm. Is that the lemon fresh? <laughs> <laughs> That's the scent of my tie. <laughs> okay, the painting. You want to talk about it yet, boy? Yeah. Mr. Grossberg, whatever happened to that painting? Oh, I do not think I shall ever be coming back home to this office. But why, though? I can't exactly claim it as stolen. I suppose it's my just desserts. Oh, bit of desserts. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> that is kind of sad, but it is oh, true yeah, he did give it to him. Because blackmail. Yeah. That's Oof. a rough one. You can and buy you it off the And you can't say, hey, he blackmailed me because... No, let's yeah. go buy it off of the police for three million dollars. It'll go up for auction, I'm sure. What happened, boy? There was a murder last night. A murder? You haven't heard? Mm. I um just got up, you see. Uh, 
Well, Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. Edgeworth? <laughs> but who did he shoot? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. But this is terrible news indeed. I guess he hadn't heard anything. Yeah. Um, what if I present you with the autopsy with the picture? Yeah. Mm hmm? Strange. I feel as though I've seen this man somewhere before. I know, wait, hold on now, hold on. They what? said they still haven't identified the victim, and yet there's the victim. Do they mean I by know, they, name? I guess. I guess they have the picture, but they don't know exactly who it is yet. Oh. Maybe, I but guess. But if you have a picture, but, you should be able to find a name pretty quick, don't you think? You know, you're not wrong. Like, they still haven't ID'd them, but they have a picture, and well, Maya recognizes who it is. I mean, wh the one thing I was going to say to benefit them is it could be one of those where they take a picture of the corpse... But the guy's got his eyes open. But I mean, then again, you can have the eyes open anyways. You can open them or close them if yeah, you want. Yeah, but he's wearing own, but a, a, a collar shirt. It's what he died in. I, I don't know. I'm trying to defend the game, okay? In an autopsy, not they don't perfect. leave the clothes on. Not everything's perfect, okay? They don't style okay? his hair. Not everything's perfect. You got to get the drama, okay? <sighs> All right. Anyways. It just doesn't add up. Oh. <gasps> Did you remember? The 21st night of the lawyer here in my office. That's Hammond. Richard Hammond. Robert. The driver of the cars in Top Gear. <laughs> oh, I used to be Top Gear. Now it's the Grand Tour on Amazon Prime. Okay, stop. <laughs> I mean, so Robert look, Hammond. He fucking identified him like that. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Hammond? You say this is a man Miles at your shot? Uh, uh, yes. Allegedly, allegedly. Hopefully, you can give me more information now, Robert allegedly. Hammond. Allegedly, allegedly, no, allegedly. That's ignorant. No, that's ignorant. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Who is this Hammond guy anyway? And what is this Top Gear you speak of? Well, it's a great thing. It's Mr. Hammond. Who's the defense attorney in that case? That case? Yes, oh. the DL6 incident. DL6. Why does that sound so Phoenix, familiar? Wow. So I can't remember anything that happened back in the past. Perhaps you'll remember. I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial of Mia's murder. That was the incident where the police Their were mom. so at a loss they used a spirit medium. <gasps> Wait. You don't mean... Was that medium my mother? Yes, my dear. The spirit medium, Misty Faye, your mother. Contacted the spirit for the victim. Of the victim. For the victim. But <laughs> the case was a loss. No conviction was made. The deal sex incident, yes, happened 15 years ago. Damn. A very strange case she indeed. Was, Maya was two years old yeah. when it happened. They never caught the criminal, right? Correct. Misty Faye used her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. Her testimony of the charges being laid against one man. But Mr. Hammond won the case, and the suspect was declared innocent. Hmm. And the police blame my mother, calling her a fraud. You were the one who helped her out then, right, Mr. Grossberg? Ma'am, um, yes, 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 quite. Thank you. No, no, no please. D don't mention it. Yeah. DL6. Never thought I'd hear that name again. Even though you couldn't freaking remember it just a second ago. <laughs> Apparently, that's why I never thought he'd hear it again. Because <laughs> he didn't fucking remember it. But wait. What does that case have anything to do with Mr. Edgeworth? It has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. The victim in the DL6 incident was none other than his father, <gasps> Gregory Edgeworth. Well, what? His father? <sighs> Holy fuck. If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. Wow. Wait. This is a photograph of my mother. Misty Faye's photo added to the court record. Holy fuck. This is getting, like, 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 that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't have any words, but you know what I mean. Yep, before we end this part, we're going to go ahead and figure out what the hell's going yeah. on over here. And then we'll finally cut it. Hey, Miles. <laughs> Miles, boy. You okay? Edgy boy. What's this? I was hoping you'd gotten my message the first time. 
Edgeworth, what about your defense? <sighs> it's no concern of yours. Yes, it is. <laughs> Guess he hasn't found anyone yet. I don't want to move. That's all new stuff now? Yeah. Okay. Can I ask you about the murder? Right. I'll ask you again. <sighs> Just leave me alone. No! Eh. We love you! Please try to understand. I'm not doing this to prove I'm tough or because I look down on you. I just don't want you anywhere near this case. Understand? He doesn't want us to be contaminated by it. I think. I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Why did you go to Gord Lake? I have no intention of telling you. Nor apparently would you tell Detective Gumshoe. <gasps> Detective Gumshoe is really worried about you. <sighs> Everyone loves you, you fuck! Alright. <laughs> Yo, dog. Speak the fuck up! Oh, that got his attention. Uh. Edgeworth? It's only been a matter of hours since you last visited. And you've made incredible progress in your investigation. That's what we do. <laughs> I'll admit it. I'm impressed, right? You always were single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? Pretty much. About the DL6 incident. Right. DL6. I didn't want you to find out about it. That's why I refused your offer to defend me. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. Huh? I just wanted to keep you he away from DL6. He just said sorry to us! <coughs> well then, my boy. So, what? do you still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know. But, I see no point in hiding anything from you now. <sighs> Very well. Ask whatever you like, and I will answer to the best of my abilities. I love you. <laughs> do you love me, dog? <laughs> yes, yes, I do. I ship them so hard. I want that throbbing heart. Oh, no, don't, I'm don't. <laughs> Stop. I was gonna cut myself Stop. off. Jesus. You need to chill. <laughs> you have no chill. All right, let me take some water quick so I can chill. <laughs> you go talk about the. You always have to something. go from zero to a hundred. I'm just like, oh, I ship them. Oh, they're you're cute. And you're just right like, all of a sudden, 18 and up descriptions going Rule on. Rule 34. The DL6 incident. The DL6 incident was when my father died. Oof. Right before my eyes. Oh, that sucks. He was shot and killed, and I saw it all. <gasps> my memories from that time are foggy. I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. Yeah. In any case, a suspect was arrested. A man. It's pretty clear who's the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. Hmm. It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond is the... Er, That's you. And, and Hammond is the victor of the Gord Lake murder? The victor? <laughs> Correct. Um... That spirit medium was my mom. What? You mean your... Uh, it's strange. I thought the terrible incident was about to end, and now this. A surprise. About to end? The DL6 incident happened 15 years I ago. I was two years old. 15 years ago, on December 28th. December 28th? The statute of limitations on that case runs out in three days. <gasps> what? Um, Nick? What does that mean? When a case's statute of limitation runs out, legally, the case never happened. <gasps> oh, damn. Three days from now, DL6 will be closed. Forever. Oh, that's fucked. Ironically, the last day of our case. Da -da -da. That's the suspect. fucked. <laughs> what happened to the suspect? The one who got off innocent. I don't know. He disappeared from public view. Nobody knows where to. Of course. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old now. Mm. I guess I understand why he'd go into hiding. Yeah. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in such a big case. For real. Your father! Um, so was your father a lawyer? He was. Gregory Edgeworth. 
He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So, you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps. <sighs> I'd rather not talk about it. Oh, sorry. I, uh... I guess, uh, you want to talk? You want to get this picture <laughs> of you shooting a boy? Who would have thought there'd be a photo? Edgeworth? Did you shoot him? <sighs> what do you think, right? I don't think they're the kind mm. to point a gun at anyone, no. No. So you didn't shoot him? No. I didn't. It wasn't me. <sighs> right. Eh? <laughs> it pains me to ask, ask you this now. I know! You want us to defend you! Yes. Of course we fucking will! Of course we no, will, you no, fucking no, prick! Don't you, you over no, here trying to no, get all sexy no, and shit. You no, want to get your spiky no, hair back in court no. for the judge to flirt with you? Fuck no! Hit okay. the button, Nick! Okay, I'll Hit do it. Hit the button! I'll do it. Of course we will. You're my OTP. Ah, uh, who could have guessed this day would come? Yeah. Not me. For real. This is my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Pay me back? For what? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. Never mind, I guess you don't really need to know. Huh? My letter of request. Please give it to Detective Gumshoe. Hey. Oh, shit, yeah. Well, I guess we should... What the... Uh -oh, what's that? Uh, uh, earthquake, Nick! It's a big one. Wow! It, it's coming down. Whew. That was scary. The fuck? Why is there an earthquake all of a sudden? Huh? Uh. Uh. Where's Edgeworth? Uh. There. He's on the floor in a ball shivering. I guess he doesn't do so well with earthquakes. Edgeworth, are you okay, uh, boy? I've heard of running, but curling up in a ball. Well, I guess we're done. <laughs> Miss Treasure doesn't seem like he's going to stand up anytime soon. Let's go, Nick. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, oh. right. I'll have to get your other side of request what to the check some you. What the fuck? Okay, how you doing after that earthquake, buddy? You know what I'm talking about? Okay. Is we're just we're just gonna leave Edward on the floor like that? Apparently, apparently he doesn't want to get back up, so we're gonna go. Is he okay? Nope. I guess we're gonna go talk to Do you to think that had to do with any kind of like trauma issues? Cause maybe, or that's just how the game made sure we didn't talk to him again. It's maybe. What's going on here? Eh? Well, what's wrong, detective? This wild lady comes in just a while ago, saying she came to talk to y'all after hearing what Mister I had to say. I bit my tongue. Ow. Oh no. What's this all about, pal? A lot of heart. Why are you going around finding more witnesses? You want to get my sister for the death sentence, pal? We found her no, by accident. <laughs> not at all. Just, I mean, she did see something. There's nothing we can do about that. I can't go around coming, covering up evidence. You trying to say something about the way I do my job? No, sir. <laughs> he has no chill. All right, God, there's so much. Stuff. Okay, we'll talk yeah, to him next time. This Jesus will be, be next time. Goodness. Ooh, a lot of stuff happening. 